it's Jordan and today I have my first video in the Halloween costume series and it is the Purple Minion from Despicable Me 2. I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram what tutorial you thought I should do and the majority of the votes was for the Purple Minion so I thought of some easy DIYs you can do at home to recreate this costume so let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting off with the goggles, and I'm just using two empty rolls of duct tape, and I'm tracing them onto a piece of foam, and then I'm just creating another circle, roughly about a centimeter on the outside of the circle, and another circle about a centimeter on the inside of the circle, if that makes sense. Then it should look like this once you're done, and I'm just putting my other piece of foam under that, and just cutting it out using some scissors. To cut the inside of the circle, I just poked a hole with my scissors and cut around that. Now you should have two circles that look like this, and they definitely don't have to be perfect. Now I'm taking my duct tape roll, and I'm just using my hot glue to glue around the edges and stick the foam down straight onto that. And I'm going to do the same thing with both pieces of foam and both duct tape rolls. Now taking my scissors, I'm cutting one straight line on each of the pieces of foam as close as I can to the duct tape roll. And they should come together and fit together like this. Now I'm just adding a generous amount of hot glue and sticking them together. Now I'm just using some silver spray paint to spray paint the whole thing. And make sure you do this outside so it doesn't stain anything. And also make sure to flip it over and do the other side. And the next part is optional, but I wanted mine to be a little bit glossy, so I just added some Mod Podge and painted that over the whole thing. Once that's dry, take about a 14 inch piece of black elastic and make sure it fits your head. Mine already fits and mine is 14 inches. And then you're just going to want to glue the elastic down on the inside of the goggles and do the same thing on either side of each of the goggles. You can also use something to press the elastic down so it'll stick better. And once you're done with that, your goggles are completed. Okay, so next step would be the overalls, and these were actually a pair of my mom's overalls, and she didn't want them anymore. So she gave them to me, but you actually don't have to use the short overalls, you could use a dress, or you can use the long pants overalls, either of them will work. And now we're just going to dye it. So I just got a little pack of black dye, and just do whatever the instructions tell you to do, but for me, I just had to fill up a pot of hot water, and then pour the dye in, and mix it around. Then I had to get the overalls wet and add it into the dye. Then I had to kind of mix it around a little bit and set it on the stove on low and keep it in there for about an hour. After an hour, I dumped out all of the black dye and rinsed out the overalls and then stuck them in the washing machine. I let them air dry and afterwards they looked like this and it came out pretty well, like a dark navy blue basically. Then I'm just taking, well I honestly don't know what this is called, it is basically like sticky aluminum foil. I thought it was silver duct tape, but it's not. Silver duct tape works well for this too, but I am just taking two pieces of this and sticking them down onto a cutting board, and I'm taking a roll of duct tape and cutting around that using an X-Acto knife. Then this part is kind of hard to see, but I was basically just carving out an M and I was looking at the actual picture of the minion while I was doing it so I can kind of get a better reference. You can do that too, it's a lot easier if you do that. Then I was tracing under each M, kind of like to make block letters or something. And I'm sorry it's really hard to see, but you'll be able to see it after and you'll be able to see the design that I made afterwards. Then I carved around the inside of the circle on either side of the M and I took out those pieces and now it just looks like this. Then I stuck it straight down onto the pocket of the overalls and it's done. So I'll show you the completed outfit at the end of this video but for right now let's go into the makeup. So I'm starting by tying my hair into a ponytail to keep it out of my face. 
and I'm using my Temp 2 concealer to conceal under my eyes, around my nose, and, and any red spots or blemishes, and I'm blending it in with my brush. Then using the Mary Kay Powder Foundation, I'm just applying this all over my face. Now I'm just priming my lids so the eyeshadow won't crease. And using the e.l.f. Day to Night palette, I'm just using this really light lavender color. And I'm just applying that on the inner half of my eye. Then I'm taking a kind of darker sparkly lavender and applying that to the outer half of my eye. I'm also dragging that under a little bit to my lower lash line. Then taking this dark sparkly gray, I'm applying this into my crease and it just kind of gives it a little bit more of a smoky look. I'm also adding a little bit more of that purple color to the middle part of my eye. Then I'm taking a white color and putting it in the inner corner just to brighten up the look a little bit. Then using a felt tip liner, I'm just lining my eyes very thinly and I'm not adding a wing or anything, just very thin. Then I'm just curling my lashes and applying some mascara. And don't forget to apply mascara to the bottom lashes as well. Then just for fun, I added a tint of purple to my eyebrows, even though no one's going to see them anyway because the goggles will be over there. But yeah, it was really just for fun. Anyways, now I'm taking this kind of light plum color and using it just the blush on my cheeks. And then I'm taking that darker purple I used earlier and using that pretty much just like as a bronzer. So right under my cheekbones and on the temples of my forehead and on my nose and, and you know, anywhere you would just put bronzer basically. Then I'm just taking a Nivea lip butter and applying that to my lip so that the eyeshadow will stay. And then I'm just taking that dark purple color and applying that color to my lips because I don't have a purple lipstick. So I'm improvising and using eyeshadow instead. And I assume most of you guys probably don't have a purple lipstick as well. So I'm just adding that onto my lips and yeah. And once you're done, the makeup looks like this. And now it's time for hair. So I'm starting by parting half of my hair up and putting it just into a little bun to keep it out of the way. And then I'm just lightly teasing the rest that's down. And make sure you do this lightly not to damage your hair and make sure you do it carefully as well. And I'm just kind of continuing this throughout my whole hair and do not be rough on your hair or else it can really damage it. So be very careful. And it's not too hard to get out and all I did to get it out was I just kind of stood in the shower and used a lot and a lot of conditioner and just kind of brushed my hair out in the shower and it took like 5 to 10 minutes. It's not too hard. But um, yeah, just continue doing this with your hair. And as you can see, I parted my hair in the middle because one of the minions, they had their hair parted in the middle. And just kind of try to fluff up each side and make it look as big as possible. And if you're feeling adventurous and you have blonde hair, then you can spray paint your hair purple, but I kind of couldn't because it didn't really show up and the spray paint broke, so yeah. But moving on, what I'm wearing are these overalls that I made, along with this purple pair of leggings that will just go under the overalls, and along with that I'm wearing a long sleeve purple shirt that would be best if it was the same color as the leggings, but I couldn't find one and I had to end up dyeing this one actually. Then I'm wearing the silver goggles that we made, and along with that, I'm wearing these really cute black shoes that are studded at the ends. And then I'm also wearing some gloves. You can either wear rubber or knit ones. So this is the whole costume put together, hair, makeup, and costume, and it's all DIY, so you can do it yourself, which is awesome. And if you do, then make sure to send me pictures on Instagram and Twitter at HowToByJordan. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. Leave comments down below telling me what you're going to be for Halloween. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, you have two options. A. Click this box to check out one of my other videos. Or B. Click the bouncing subscribe button for more awesome DIY and beauty videos.